Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the 20 second wait time whenever starting up your server using Spigot. So if you guys don't know, whenever you try to start your server, it actually gives you a 20 second wait period. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can go ahead and bypass this using build tools. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to this URL. I'll have this in the description. And we're just going to click on our operating system. This is going to be Windows. And we're going to want to go ahead and download the build tools that you are. So on our desktop, we're going to make a new folder. And we're just going to name this build tools. And let's go ahead and drag our jar into this folder. You're going to want to go ahead and go back to the top of the page and select on the version of Minecraft that you want for your server. For me, I'm going to be using the latest version, so I'm just going to go to the latest. And this is going to be the code that you run right here. So inside of our build tools folder, we're going to click up at the top here and copy this, or you can press Control C. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press the Windows key and R. Or if you'd like, you can right click on the start and select run. So in here we're going to type in cmd and it should pop up a command prompt window. Once you're here, you're going to type in cd and then you're going to put a space and type in the directory that we just copied. And now that we're here, we're going to copy in this command and we're going to paste this into here. Now this could take up to 20 minutes and it's completely dependent on how fast your computer is and your internet speed. So I will see you guys once this is done. Okay, so once it's done, it will say success, everything completed successfully. Once it's done, you can go ahead and close it. And we're going to go into the spigot folder. And here we're going to go ahead and click on spigot server and then target. And then this spigot-1.16 or whatever version. We're going to go ahead and copy this over to our server. And we can go ahead and close this. And we can go ahead and delete this because we don't need it anymore. So while that's deleting, we can go ahead and go into our server here. And we can go ahead and delete our old spigot jar and replace it with our new one. We're going to go ahead and delete everything up to spigot-1.16.5. And you'll notice now that we run our server, we no longer have that 20 second waiting period. And so that's going to wrap up today's video. If this video in any way did help you, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my new content. Peace out.